All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Imagine waking up to a day that holds endless possibilities. A uh, canvas where every stroke you paint can transform your future. Imagine not seizing those opportunities, letting them slip like sand through your fingers. I want to share a story that beautifully illustrates the power of grasping those fleeting moments and transforming them into milestones. There once was a young man, much like many of you here, filled with dreams, aspirations, and a burning desire to make something of himself. He came from a modest background, the kind where luxury was a stable roof and a warm meal, not much else. Every day he watched his parents toil from dawn till dusk, their faces etched with the lines of hard labor and determination. Yet despite their relentless efforts, progress seemed just out of reach, a horizon ever receding. One chilly morning, the young man decided it was his day to change the course of his life. He had heard of an opportunity in a distant city, a competition for young inventors where the prize was a scholarship to a prestigious university. The problem? He had nothing but a rough prototype of an invention and no money for the journey. However, where many might see insurmountable barriers, he saw a stepping stone. He worked night and day refining his prototype, and when the time came, he sold his few possessions to fund his trip. At the competition, surrounded by the progeny of the affluent, all better equipped, better funded, he felt his resolve waver. But then he remembered his parents, their unwavering spirit, and he pushed through. His presentation was a blend of passion and simplicity, his prototype not as polished as others, but brimming with potential. To the surprise of many, he won. That victory was the first step on a path that led him from poverty to becoming one of the leading innovators of his generation. Why do I share this story with you? Because within each of us lies an untapped reservoir of potential, a power that is formidable yet often overlooked. Today we gather not just to speak of dreams, but to ignite a fierce determination to achieve them. Each of you has the potential to not only reach for your dreams, but to live them actively. We are here to seize the day, to make every moment count, to not just exist, but to truly live. Our time together will unravel the essence of tapping into your inner strength, leveraging every opportunity that life throws your way. It's about not waiting for the perfect moment, but creating it with your own hands, crafting your destiny with tenacity and resolve. Let this be your turning point. Let today be the day you commit not to let opportunities pass, but to grab them, mold them, and make them your own. Together we will explore how to harness this incredible power within you, how to push past the invisible barriers that you or others have set, and how to step into a realm of endless possibilities. Let's embark on this journey, not as passive observers of our own lives, but as active creators of our destiny. As we journey together today, let us turn our focus inward, to the vast landscape of our own untapped potential. Each of us carries within a reservoir of strength and ability that, when harnessed, can propel us beyond any limit we perceive. Our inner power is not just a source of survival. It is the foundation of our capacity to thrive and excel in every aspect of life. Consider the story of a woman named Clara. Clara was a middle-aged librarian whose days passed in the quiet corridors of her local library. She was often overlooked, her suggestions dismissed, her dreams unshared, relegated to the pages of the books she shelved. Yet Clara held a secret. Beyond her quiet, exterior burned the spirit of a writer, a spirit that for years she had stifled under layers of fear and doubt. One evening during a local writing workshop, Clara timidly shared a piece she had written. The room was moved by her words. They touched hearts and provoked tears. Encouraged by this, Clara began to write more fervently. Months of passion poured onto paper led to her first novel, which, against all odds, soared to the top of the bestseller list. Clara had discovered her inner power, the strength of her words, the depth of her stories, and her ability to inspire through literature. She had looked within, found her unique talent, and allowed it to shine brilliantly. Clara's transformation is a testament to the potential that resides in each of us waiting to be discovered and embraced. Her story is not just about success. It's about recognizing that within the quiet moments of our lives, there are sparks of brilliance ready to ignite. Each person here has similar sparks hidden within, unique talents and abilities that define who you are. Think of those moments when you felt most alive, most yourself, 
was it while creating something new, solving a complex problem, leading a team, or perhaps when helping others, these are clues, signposts, pointing toward your inner strengths and potential. It's easy to look at others' achievements and feel as though we lack what they possess. But the truth is, like Clara, the key to unlocking your true potential starts with believing in your inner strength and taking the first step, no matter how small to what you are passionate about. Let me share another story, that of a young man named Lewis. Lewis grew up in a small village where opportunities were scarce. From a young age, he was fascinated by technology. He would tinker with broken radios and old computers, learning from scraps and remnants. His family could not afford formal education in technology, but Lewis's drive to learn was undeterred. He used every resource available, often walking miles to a nearby town to access books and online tutorials at an internet cafe. Through sheer determination and self-education, Lewis developed an innovative application that addressed a local farming issue, helping villagers get better prices for their crops. His app caught the attention of a tech company in the city leading to a scholarship and a promising career. Lewis's journey from a village tinkerer to a software developer was fueled by his belief in his inner strength and his refusal to let circumstances define his potential. As you reflect on the stories of Clara and Lewis, I urge you to ask yourself, what is my story? What strengths have I overlooked? What potential have I yet to unleash? This is not just about finding a path to personal or professional success. It's about realizing that you possess an incredible internal power that can lead to fulfillment and profound impact. Today, let's make a commitment to ourselves. Let's decide to explore our inner landscapes to recognize and nurture our strengths and to believe in our capacity to achieve greatness. It's not the external accolades that define our success, but the journey of personal growth and the realization of our potential. As we move forward, remember that understanding your inner power is just the beginning. Next, we will explore how to take these insights and translate them into action. How do we seize the day? How do we make every moment count, not just for ourselves, but for the world around us? Let's carry this conversation into our next steps, where we will learn to turn our potential into tangible achievements. Building from our understanding of the untapped potential within each of us, let's shift our gaze toward the horizon of opportunity that each day brings. To truly seize the day is to embrace every moment with a fervor and intent that transcends mere existence, it is to live deliberately and with purpose. The essence of seizing the day is captured not through grand gestures, but through the consistent purposeful actions we take from sunrise to sunset. Let me share the inspiring story of Emily, a young entrepreneur whose small coffee shop became a community cornerstone. When Emily first opened her doors, she faced the same uncertainties that haunt any new venture. However, instead of being paralyzed by fear, Emily chose to make every interaction count. She remembered her customers' names, their favorite drinks, and little details about their lives. Her genuine interest in her patrons turned first-time visitors into regulars and eventually into friends. Emily's coffee shop grew not just as a business but as a community hub because she grasped every opportunity to make a positive impact in her customers day her success was built on the foundation of seizing every moment to connect share and enrich her community emily's story exemplifies a vital strategy in seizing the day mindfulness being truly present in the moment allows us to appreciate evaluate and ultimately utilize the opportunities that come our way Mindfulness means listening not just to respond but to understand, working not just for profit but for satisfaction, and living not just passively but with intention. To embody this principle, let's consider practical strategies that each of us can implement. Start by setting clear, actionable goals each morning. What do you wish to accomplish today? What small steps can you take toward a larger goal? This practice tunes your mind to a productive frequency where your actions align with your objectives. Next, embrace the discipline of prioritization. Not every task holds the same weight. Learn to distinguish between what is urgent and what is important. Tackle projects that will have the most significant impact first. This approach not only enhances your efficiency, but also your sense of achievement and fulfillment at day's end. Another key strategy is to cultivate resilience. Obstacles are simply part of the landscape of life. When faced with a challenge, pause and reflect. 
What can this teach me? How can I grow from this experience? This mindset transforms barriers into bridges and problems into potential. Additionally, the practice of gratitude plays a pivotal role in seizing the day. Take moments throughout your day to reflect on what you're thankful for. This could be as simple as a sunny day, a productive meeting, or a supportive friend. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you possess, empowering you to make the most of your resources and opportunities. Incorporating these strategies into your daily routine requires a commitment to self-improvement and a willingness to step out of your comfort zone. It's about making every second count, not through haste, but through deliberate and thoughtful action. As we learn to seize the day, we find that our lives become a series of moments filled with growth, joy, and achievement. Each day becomes a stepping stone to a future we are actively shaping through our choices and actions. As we move forward, let us carry this momentum into overcoming the obstacles we face. In our next discussion, we will delve into building resilience and transforming challenges into opportunities for growth. Remember, it is within the confluence of opportunity and preparedness that our true potential is realized and our most significant accomplishments are forged. As we navigate the waves of seizing the day and embracing every moment, it's inevitable that we will encounter storms, obstacles, and challenges that seem to block our path forward. These moments, while often daunting, are not barriers, but rather gateways to greater growth and understanding. Embracing challenges as opportunities requires a shift in our mindset from one of avoidance to one of engagement. Let's reflect on the journey of Marcus, a man whose early life was marred by hardships and failure. Marcus grew up in a community where few saw success beyond the local norms. His early business attempts floundered, leaving him not only financially bankrupt, but emotionally depleted. Yet Marcus did not see these failures as the end of his path, but as vital lessons that shaped his understanding of business. With each setback, he refined his strategies, his resolve deepening with every hurdle. Eventually, Marcus launched a venture that turned into a multinational company, all because he viewed each obstacle as a crucial step towards his ultimate success. Marcus's story is a powerful testament to the resilience needed to overcome obstacles. To develop such a resilient mindset, begin by redefining how you view challenges. Instead of seeing them as threats, view them as puzzles to solve, opportunities to grow stronger and wiser. This reframing can transform daunting tasks into exciting challenges. Moreover, resilience is forged in the small. Everyday decisions we make, it's in choosing to stand back up each time we stumble, in deciding to learn from criticism instead of being wounded by it, and in opting to persevere when a simpler option would be to quit. These choices build a fortitude that turns potential defeats into victories. Another effective strategy is to cultivate a network of support. Resilience doesn't mean going it alone. On the contrary, the most resilient individuals know when to seek help, advice, and encouragement. They surround themselves with mentors, peers, and friends who provide not only support, but also constructive feedback that fosters growth Consider the case of Sarah, a promising athlete whose career was abruptly halted by a severe injury. The prognosis was grim. The likelihood of returning to her sport was minimal. However, Sarah's determination and her supportive network, including coaches, family, and fellow athletes, encouraged her to pursue rigorous rehabilitation. Her community's unwavering belief in her potential fueled her motivation. Two years later, Sarah not only returned to her sport, but also won national titles, defying every expectation. Her resilience, buoyed by her community, transformed a potential life setback into one of her most significant triumphs. Let these stories remind us that resilience is not inherent. It is built through experience, through trial and error, and through the support we garner along the way. As we move forward, remember to embrace each challenge with courage to lean on and uplift those around you, and to view each obstacle as a stepping stone toward your goals. As we continue on our journey, let us now turn towards the final part of our exploration, how to live a life of purpose and achievement. This is not just about achieving to add to our accolades, but about finding deep satisfaction in pursuing paths that align with our deepest values and aspirations. In doing so, we forge lives not just of success, but of significance. Let's carry forward the spirit of resilience as we consider the broader implications of our actions and the legacy we wish to create. 
as we draw inspiration from tales of resilience and triumph over adversity, our next step is to channel this newfound strength into constructing a life not only of achievement, but of purpose. Living a life aligned with one's deepest values and passions isn't a luxury. It's essential for lasting fulfillment and success. Let's consider the story of Linda, a software developer who had a stable job in a reputable tech company. While she enjoyed the comfort of security, Linda felt a nagging sense of dissatisfaction. She realized that her true passion lay in education technology. She wanted to create tools that would make learning accessible to underserved communities around the world. Driven by this clear vision, Linda took a courageous step. She left her job to start her own company focused on educational software. Today, her applications are used in over 100 countries, helping millions of students to learn in innovative and effective ways. Linda's journey illustrates the profound impact of aligning one's career with one's values and passions. Her story underscores the importance of setting meaningful goals. Goals give us direction and motivation, turning the abstract into the tangible. When we set goals that resonate with our core values, we create a powerful incentive to persevere through challenges and expand our capacities. To navigate this journey effectively, it is crucial to craft a roadmap for success. This roadmap begins with self-reflection, identifying what truly matters to us. Ask yourself, what am I passionate about? What values do I want to embody? How can I contribute to something larger than myself? Answering these questions provides a framework for setting goals that are not only achievable, but also inspiring. Once your vision is clear, break it down into actionable steps. This might mean acquiring new skills, networking in your industry, or even reshaping your personal habits. Each step on your roadmap should be specific, measurable, and time-bound. For example, if your goal is to become a published author, your initial steps might include writing daily completing a manuscript by a certain date, and researching potential publishers. However, a vision and a plan are not enough on their own. Commitment to consistent action is key. It's about doing something every day that moves you closer to your goals. This commitment might require waking up an hour earlier to write or spending your evenings learning a new programming language. The compound effect of daily actions is incredibly powerful turning seemingly small efforts into great achievements over time. And let me share another example. Tom, an aspiring marathon runner. Initially, Tom couldn't run more than a mile without stopping. He set a goal to complete a marathon within a year. Every day he trained, gradually increasing his stamina and distance. Not only did Tom run his first marathon within the year, but he also placed in the top 100. Tom's daily commitment transformed him from a novice to a competitive runner. This level of dedication is transformative, but it also demands discipline and resilience. Remember, the path to achievement is rarely straight. It will invariably include setbacks. However, when your goals are anchored in your values and passions, your motivation to persevere will be inexhaustible. As we embrace this approach, let us inspire one another and hold each other accountable. Share your vision with a friend, a mentor, or a colleague. This not only reinforces your commitment, but also builds a supportive community that can propel you forward when challenges arise. In conclusion, as you leave today, carry with you not just the stories and strategies we've discussed, but also a renewed sense of purpose. Envision the life you want to lead. Think about the legacy you wish to leave. Let that vision guide your actions every day. It is in each moment of decision that we shape our destinies and craft a life of true significance. Let us step forward from this gathering, not just as dreamers, but as doers. Forge your path with courage, embrace each day with enthusiasm, and pursue your goals with unrelenting passion. In doing so, you will not only achieve, but also exceed your greatest expectations. Let this be the beginning of a journey marked not by what you achieve, but by how you achieve it. As we reach the culmination of our journey today, let us pause and reflect on the profound insights we've we shared. We've explored the vast reservoirs of our inner potential, uncovered the art of seizing each day, learned to navigate obstacles with resilience, and envisioned a life of purpose and achievement. These are not just concepts to admire, but principles to live by, each reinforcing a message of empowerment and urgency. Today, I challenge each of you to not merely store away these insights, but to actively integrate them into your daily lives. 
Make a personal commitment today. Decide that you will not only dream of a life filled with achievement and purpose, but also take deliberate steps to make it a reality. The path we've discussed requires courage to embark upon and discipline to continue, but the rewards it promises are not just possible. They're inevitable for those who persist. Consider the stories we've discussed, individuals like Clara, who found her voice and her calling amidst the silence of the library stacks. Marcus, who transformed failure into the foundation of his business empire. Lindy, who aligned her career with her passion for education and changed the world for millions. These stories are not outliers. They are testaments to what is possible when we dare to live deliberately. And now, as you step out from this gathering and return to your daily routines, carry with you not just the memory of these stories, but a burning desire to add your own. Each morning, ask yourself what small step you can take today to move closer to your goals. Embrace each challenge as an opportunity to grow stronger, more adept, and resilient. Surround yourself with supporters and mentors who encourage your progress and offer honest feedback. Most importantly, hold on to your vision of success. Let it guide your choices and actions every day. Let me leave you with a thought that captures the essence of our time together. Your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. This is not just a call to action. It is a call to urgency. A reminder that each day is a new opportunity to impact your destiny. Do not wait for perfect conditions. They do not exist. Start now with whatever you have, wherever you are. The journey towards greatness begins with a single step taken today. So take that step. Seize your day. And may your actions today be the foundation of your success tomorrow. Thank you and may your journey be as rewarding as the destinations you aspire to reach.